Hi there, and welcome to Lit Maps. This is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to walk you through this amazing tool to discover the world of scientific literature. So we're going to log in by going to the top right. If you don't have an account, you'll get a chance to also create an account and then log in. So here we are. And uh, notice how it can be done. You can either sign in if you already uh, create an account, or you can sign up with Google or sign up with Orchid. Notice under sign up. So if we go into sign up, we've got all these options. And also you can decide your role. I really, really like the way um, it works. How did you hear about us? and so on. So I'm not going to go through the sign up because I already have an account and I'm happy to say that I logged in with Orchid and I'm signed in and this is what I get. Create your first lit map. So I'm just starting out just like you. So let's see what happens here. Click on lit map and then notice what you can do here. You can upload file go into my library or you can simply choose a starting article to kick off your lit map. So you can search by title, keyboard, DOI or author. So I'm going to write author and let's see what I get here. Go into search. Notice you can search on Google Scholar as well, which is a wonderful feature. So there I've added my name and see if anything comes up. And yes, we get some things by Helen Deutsch. <laughs> and we get uh, a few articles that I co-authored with some others that I can use. So on. I'm going to add AI in ELT. Or you know what? Let's make a TESOL. That's a better one since I'm giving a talk on that. And I'm in Semantic. Notice um, I'm in Semantic Scholar. So I can take a look at these. Uh, there's a recent one. It's uh, from 2024 by PAC. You can go through the list here, which is absolutely amazing. Notice uh, there's some more current ones. This is, I think, the most current. And then you can see it right here. Okay, um, you get a summary. You can also notice create a lit map. Let's do that now. Isn't it amazing? It works so beautifully. And then notice uh, you've got a mind map. It's not amazing lit map. So you get a map. Okay, you can explore that later on. Let's dismiss that. But you've got everything here. Student engagement, machine translation, all these articles. Okay, and you can see them here. Right, uh, that's uh, what we can do here. We can also go back to explore. Okay, I wanted the one from 2024, so let me go back here into Explore because we want to go into Articles, right? And this is the one that I'm interested in. So notice what I get here. I get an overview, references that are mentioned. Okay, zero citations at this time. I'm going to click on the article again. There I can get the reference, list of references. There we go, let's finish that. And get an overview, okay, of the references and finish that. What I'm interested in is reading the article. Explore, export, view source. Okay, so here is the source. Notice I just clicked on view source and it took me here, let's accept. And it's in TESOL from June 2024, so it's quite recent. In fact, it's super recent because we are in May 
and specifically on May 28, 2024. So it was submitted in March. All right, so we see it here. And then you get the abstract and a PDF file. And here it is as a PDF file. And of course, I can download it. So isn't that amazing? That's how I discovered it. I discovered it in LitMaps. And I'm grateful to LitMaps for providing me with um, this information. And notice here an overview of the uh, citations and references in a very easy to watch and learn. And notice I can also add these to LitMap. Now, the ones that I would add are perhaps, let's see, this one I would add. And this one I would definitely add. And this one, pack, of course, that I was happy to find which is another pack, by the way, but I learned about pack. And this one, it's current, evaluating social impact and society. That's not my interest. And that's it. So I've got all of this going to hit finish at the top right. And there's my required information a i and t so that's what i have and notice um, i can also upgrade i'm using a free account at the bottom here but no need for that i can also count references site count and the date and notice here i have a list under articles at the top right i have a list of all the articles that i marked in my lit map and that's it for now i'm really excited about this and i can't wait to continue working on it thank you uh, for being here as i explored lit maps for the first time looking forward to hearing about your exploration of lit map and what you think of it feel free to ask questions and share in the comment box below have a great day and enjoy lit maps mm -hmm.